This is the story of the great kite rescue. You're stepping on it. Oh. You rescue the kite, and now it's getting it. So we started out there on the beach, and we're all flying our kites and having a great time. And Hunter, come here. Hunter's hanging on to the string, having a great time flying, and then he relaxes a moment and lets the string go. Well, where's the kite going to go? Up, 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 and away, and over the condo. So my wife looks at me, and I'm way down there. She says, go get it. I'm thinking, why doesn't she? Hunter's running after it. And then farther up this beach, another gentleman, he looks, he looks, he looks, and then he's going after it. Another gentleman on the balcony reaches out, but he can't grab the string. A guy comes around the side and says, the kite is hanging down over the condo. We run around the building hoping we can pull the kite down, then come back with a plan and tell him to untie the string. In the meantime, the kite catches in the gutter. Now what are we going to do? The man from the balcony goes to the back with the broom and says, I'll unhook it. He pulls out the broom, and just as he's reaching it, it unhooks itself. The kite's unhooked and ready to come down in the back. But in the front, it's still tied on the spool of string. So now we have a balancing act. Jack's running back and forth. Let the string go. Don't pull on it. So finally we figure out and coordinate it. Run around the corner, Jack, and tell him it's moving a little bit. During that time, we get a call from her husband, Joe. Tell Becca a guy found her phone on the beach. The metal detector. I saw that guy out there. Nancy unloosens the spool and we tug it in. Jack and I tie it up. Hunter basically says, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. But he made for a great adventure. End of story. It was amazing. Woo! Woo! You saw it live at Seaside, even though we have our Cannon Beach shirts on.